um, looking in at this problem, what we're going to do is I have 3y divided by 2x cubed plus 5z divided by 8x y squared. Now, let's go back a little bit with fractions. Just do a quick little review. 5 leaves 7 said 2 thirds plus 1 fourth. That equals, we remember we cannot add, we know that this does not equal 3 over 7, correct? Yeah. We multiply fractions across. We do not add fractions across. Oh, One of the big problems that law students had with fractions was they took too much work. Why do they take too much work? We have to add and subtract because to add and subtract, you have to have common denominators. Very good. So I look at 3 and 4, and to get 3 and 4, what I had to do is find out what the LCM is, the least common multiple of my two denominators. So I say, what was the smallest multiple that both 3 and 4 divide into, which is 12. So therefore, to multiply to get 3 to be 12, I have to multiply by a 4 over 4. Now I have to multiply the top and the um, bottom by 12, as well as the top and bottom by 3, to produce equivalent fractions. You can't just multiply the bottom and not multiply the top, because then you would have a fraction that's equal. So now I multiply across, so I get 8 over 12 plus 3 over 12, which leaves me with 11 over 12. Wow. Right? Does everybody remember that? Yeah. Good. Now, let's go ahead and see what we can do to apply this. So now I have a rational expression plus a rational expression. Do you think it would make sense then that I'd have to apply the same properties? They have to have the same denominators? Yeah. Would that make sense? Yeah. Yes, it would, of course. So if we look at here, um, I noticed that, let's deal with the numbers because we know that easiest, that first, right? So here if I have a 2 and an 8, I know that they have to have the same multiple. So what's the smallest number that both 2 and 8 divide into? One. Two. That 2 and 8 evenly divide into? 2. I'll say it again. What is the smallest eight. number eight. that 2 and 8 divide into, which is 8? 2 divides into 2 and 8, but 8 and 2 don't divide evenly into 2. Only 2 divides evenly into 2. So the smallest LCM, so what we can do, ladies and gentlemen, when I'm doing a problem like this, I like to write out the LCM. The LCM, in this case, the smallest number that both 2 and 8 divide into is 8, right? 2 and 8 both divide into 8, yes? So that's why that's the smallest number. So therefore, to get this to be 8, I need to multiply by, to get this to be 8, I need to multiply by 4 over 4, right? We're going to add some more numbers here in a second. All right, now let's look at the x's. So I have an x cubed and an x. So what is the smallest value of x that both my x and x cubed divide into? X cubed. X cubed. X cubed. Very good. So I can say my LCM is x cubed. Cool. Now, do I need to multiply anything by x cubed to make it x cubed? No. But over here, what do I have to multiply x by to make it x cubed? X squared. X squared. Very good. So I'll multiply by x squared over x squared. Right? Because remember, whatever you multiply on the bottom, ladies and gentlemen, you have to multiply up top. Now, let's go and deal with um, the y's, because I have a y over here. So, what is the smallest value that y squared divides into? Y squared. R squared. So, oh my goodness. Now, do I have to multiply anything by y squared over here to make no, it? No, you don't. So that one's done. But I have to multiply by y squared over here. You do. On the top and bottom. Now, the reason, ladies and gentlemen, I write out the LCM to the side is because now when I complete my, um, now when I complete my multiplication, I want to make sure that the denominators are is equal to my LCM, right? Because if it doesn't equal, I did something wrong. So now let's multiply across. So up top, I get 12y cubed divided by 8x cubed y squared plus, is this a z? Yes. 5z x squared divided by 8x cubed y squared. Okay? Now I can combine the denominators. Now you can only add the numerators though if they have like terms, meaning they have the exact same variable factors. 
Do these have the same variable factors? No. No, so we can't combine them. So my final answer I will write as 12y cubed plus 5zx squared all divided by 8x cubed y squared. Okay? Okay. Alex, you got that? I do got that. Awesome. Dunzo. So, that is what we call 